Hello friends, myself Gayatri Gurav, lecturer in electronics department from PV Polytechnic, SNDT Women's University, Mumbai. Our team members are Sonali Nemade, Takshak Rabari, Tushar Parmar, Nitesh Tadvi. Today we are going to discuss how to use Kyle software which is useful for six semester students from electronics department. This software is generally used for microcontroller programming objective to understand the functionality of the Kyle software. The Kyle provides broad range of development tools mainly NCC compiler, microassembler, debugger, linker, library managers for 8051 ARM microcontroller families. To write programming Kyle, we have to follow some initial steps which are little complex for the beginners to start with. So, the user have to follow the further steps. The steps are as follows. First, create a new project, add programming file, create hex file, compile, build the target, then error solving, after that debugging. So, I will demonstrate how to follow these steps. First open the Kyle software, then click on project tab, then click on new project, then select a file, write a file name, save, after that select a particular IC which you are using in your hardware. Now I am using 8051 IC from Felix brand and the name of the IC is 89V51RD2 that's why I am going in Philips then I am selecting a particular IC here you will able to see the description of that particular IC after selecting the IC you have to click on OK now the window will ask you to add a startup code or not if you are writing program in assembly language, then you have to click on yes. And if you are writing program in C language, then you have to click on no. So now we are going to take an example of assembly language program. So I am clicking on yes. Now before start the program, you have to create a file. It means you have to add a file. So first go in file, click on new. Then first save this file by using this menu. You have to save the file with a particular name abc. As this file is assembly file, I am giving .asm file type. Then click on save. Now first you have to add this file. So click on source target 1. then click on add the file will get add here then click on close now you are able to write the program here so the steps are as follows suppose if you want to add the two numbers then org 0000h move a comma hash 05 suppose i am taking a data as 5 then add this is the instruction a comma hash 02 it means I am adding 05 in 02 then move r2 comma a end then after this you have to compile your program so first click on project then click on build target you must get zero error here if you are getting any error, it means there is a some problem in your instructions. So remove that error and get zero error here. Now you can transfer this program in your microcontroller. But before doing that, you can debug this program in the software itself. So that what you have to do? First, you have to click on debug tab. Then click on start debug session. 
here you will get a message that code limit 2k it means because this is a evaluation version you are getting this message then click on okay for debugging there are two steps first you can debug the whole program directly and the second step is you can debug your program step by step so first we will see how to debug program directly so here is a run button just you have to press this button you will get the output here 5 plus 2 7 you are getting 7 in the accumulator as in microcontroller by default the results saved in the accumulator now after this you have to stop your debug before closing the project click on debug click on stop debug now we will learn how to debug program step by step click on debug start debug click ok you have to close all these files or you can minimize as well this is a button this is a step into it means if you press this button the program will run step by step like here now in accumulator you have 0, 05 after adding you will get 0, 07 now the data is 0, 07 so in this way you can debug your program step by step after that you have to click on stop debug that you can do by selecting this button in microcontroller we have to burn a hex file so we will learn how to create hex file you have to right click on target click on this first tab you have to click on output tab here you will get a checkbox that create hex file so you have to just click on this checkbox then click on ok but before clicking on ok you have to add a crystal frequency the crystal frequency you have to add like which which crystal you are interfacing with your microcontroller that crystal frequency you have to mention here like now i am using 11.0592 megahertz crystal that's why i am writing here 11.0592 the megahertz is already mentioned now you can click on ok so now your hex file is also ready so you can transfer your code with the help of hex file in your microcontroller so these are the certain steps which you have to stop which you have to follow before starting any program so we can summarize in this way when we are writing any program in kyle first we have to create a new project in that new project first you have to add file before adding you have to select a particular microcontroller which you are using in your hardware after that you have to add a file then you have to write a program compile your program and remember one thing even if you are getting zero error it doesn't mean that your program is correct the zero error defines that whatever code you have written means whatever instructions you have written that instruction format is correct so for example here we took example of addition addition program but suppose by mistakenly you wrote sub instruction sub sub then also you will get zero error but it doesn't mean you will get the result of addition so while writing program you have to take care of instructions which you are using in program in this way you can write a program build a target and create a hex file and transfer the program in your microcontroller so here i like to thank to pv polytechnic SNDT women's university who gave me opportunity to come in uh, to attain this training program id6 use of modern media I like to thank the coordinator of this program as well NITTTR Bhopal. Thank you.